and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and in this video we're going to see if the crypto winter is coming also we're going to take a look at some of my positions my overall crypto portfolio and uh go over some comments and questions i had some interesting comments that are relevant to what is happening right now and uh we're going to address some of these questions so you don't want to miss this video if you're invested in some of these dow projects and staking projects uh there's a lot to impact here so let's get right to it on my last video um i pulled up here wonderland time and the apy at that time was around seventy-five thousand, and at that time wonderland time was trading close to seven thousand. right now the apy is actually lower at seventy-two thousand, and the price of wonderland time is around six thousand. so both apy and price point is lower so i don't know if that's something to be concerned about but i'll continue to track uh this apy as it goes lower so just to see what it, it does we're not seeing the apy go up as the price goes lower which is something that is typical uh, of these projects you'll see the apy rise as the price goes down uh, but here we're having actually both apy and price going down so we'll continue to monitor this in the next few videos and to see how this uh, works here let's get to some comments and questions and some things i want to point out that are happening right now that are interesting even though uh we have a pullback here in the market let's go to the first comment this is not necessarily the first comment but something i want to bring out uh Biaheza has almost a million subscribers and yesterday he released this video about wonderland time so now it's getting commercialized it's going to be interesting to see if we see new money coming in into these projects so we'll see uh, how that impacts the price. So far, I haven't seen a great change on the price. Just something that I want to throw out there. Let's go to the uh, first comment here. I have noticed that many people are misinformed as to what a DAO projects are. A decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, is an entity with no central leadership. Decisions get made from the bottom up governed by a community organized around a specific set of rules enforced on a blockchain. So Time Wonderland is not a DAO, whereas Olympus is. The projects you talk about, it would be correct to call them OM forks instead of DAO projects. Just trying to help people stay informed. And I've seen other comments just like this where um, they're saying I'm misinforming and I'm not uh, properly addressing these projects. And full disclosure, they're absolutely right. So, you know, just take my videos for a grain of salt. Uh, a lot of information here. I'm, I'm new to these projects, just like all of us are. These are all new projects. And I was categorizing all these projects that look like this with the staking and the bonding returns. I was considering them DAO projects. That was very naive and very wrong of me to be doing that. Because in reality, they're not all DAO projects. And there's own forks, Olympus DAO, that function the same, but are not DAO projects. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful the way I categorize these projects and maybe just generalize as crypto projects instead of DAO projects. Because, uh, yeah, they're right. Not everything is a DAO project. And I am using DAO as my thumbnails and as my videos and headlines. And the reality is they're not DAOs. So thank you guys for bringing that up to my attention. I was ignoring some of the comments, but Virik uh, made a great explanation there and uh, broke it down for us. Thank you for that comment. Let's go to the next comment. Michael wrote here, this will be the first real test for DAO projects. They are still very new and kind of experimental. If the treasury mechanics work and they survive a crypto winter, then they will have proved themselves and like explode next summer. There is a treasury on a lot of these projects DAO projects and OM forks, uh, they have a treasury, so they have a very thought up token infrastructure where there is reserve currency here to uh, buy up and stabilize prices. So it's going to be interesting. This is going to be the first real test, and we are seeing a pullback across the board right now. And this is going to be a first stress test per se and see how they rise after uh, we have this pullback. Now, is the crypto winter here? I don't know. Are we having a pullback? Yes. Are we filling it in our portfolios? Absolutely. So I'm going to share my results uh, towards the end of the video and show my actual portfolio numbers. Okay. Thank you, Michael. 
and aside from this comment, I apologize to one of my subscribers. He wrote something about uh, the mechanics of the uh, treasury and I accidentally uh, hit the spam button. I've been getting a lot of spam and a lot of fraudulent activity in my comments. So just be careful out there, guys. I'll never put my WhatsApp number or personal number there to contact me. So just be aware there's a lot of scammers there. And I want to apologize because he had wrote a nice comment that I wanted to feature in this video talking about the treasury, which, which was something along the lines as what Michael is saying. And I deleted your comment. I apologize. I was not trying to report you to YouTube. And unfortunately, I can't undo. I contacted YouTube and I cannot undo that uh, spam report. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful when I start deleting, when I start reporting spam. Um, it's just, I'm getting overwhelmed and I really dislike that they're attacking my channel when this is a honest channel. So sorry about that. And thank you for that comment, Michael. Let's go to the next comment. Next comment, Mike wrote, how do you find about these plays so early? I do have a discord community, which is free. And I actually find out about some of these projects from the community. Uh, we're all new to this investment crypto category and we're just all throwing things out there to see what sticks. So there's a lot of information running 24 seven on my discord. It's free links under the description. You can join and check it out. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for that. Let's go to the next comment. Uh, Luis wrote here, the APY going a bit down is a good sign. It means the equation is trying to balance itself. It means it's working. Deposit, stake it, wait a year and see, don't rush. It is a long-term investment. Take look at the price prediction. Take a look at the APY. Even if it's divided by two, you will still make a lot of money. Just hold, but don't put your life savings on it. Thank you, Luis, for that uh, comment. Yes, uh, I see that he's saying the APY is going down and uh, the equation is trying to rebalance itself. And uh, just like I showed earlier, Wonderland time, uh, the APY is going lower, but also the price is going lower. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, APY going down is good because it means money's coming in. But at the same time, if the price is going down, I don't know if that's good. Overall, you're continuously earning APY and some might argue that the price is irrelevant. So um, just depending your point of view and perspective. Uh, but thank you, Luis, for that comment. Let's go to the next comment. Mr. Fantastic Hero, DCA baby. Yes, dollar cost average down. So. I did a uh, dollar cost average into one of my losing positions, and I'm going to share that with you guys uh, towards the end of the video. Thank you for fantastic. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a comment that I addressed in my last uh, video. Katsuri wrote about Wonderland time liquidating some time for um, AVAX, and we had some response. So I want to address the response here, and hopefully this helps you, Katsuri, because like myself, I didn't know what happened here. So. Uh, this is what someone wrote in my comment section. Philippe wrote here, the CEO of Time turned that AVAX to stable coins and swapped them into uh, Magic Internet Money, MIM, which is a stable coin of Wonderland DAO. And now we're seeing here, he's putting Wonderland DAO and people are saying Wonderland Time is not a DAO. So, you know, there's a lot of confusion out there. Uh, so apparently uh, Wonderland Time is not a DAO, it's a fork. So let's go on. M here wrote, uh, so Wonderland will keep its APY high. And then Anthony wrote, yeah, THR guy running it. Daniel basically bought the bottom to keep the APY stable. He announced it on Twitter yesterday. To legit wrote here, he deleveraged from AVAX yesterday and that has proven to be a very smart move. He didn't buy the bottom. And then we had Wonderland bought tons of BTC and ETH as well as 47,000 price. So. That's kind of what's going on based on the community. This is the research they've done, and this is what they're saying about that, uh, that swap. So very informative. Thank you guys for responding. Very helpful. And I hope that helps uh, Katsuri here with some peace of mind and everyone else being invested in these projects. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. And let's go to the last comment. Uh, Ferris wrote here, DAOs are not meant to be played as trade and short-term tokens. They're designed for long-term and stable coins. If you want fast money, do not go into DAOs. Uh, I agree with everything he's saying, but he, he is saying here they are designed for long-term and stable coins. If you do read on some of the Wonderland Times papers, they clearly say they're not a stable coin. So 
They're not necessarily stable coins either. I don't believe um, they're stating to be stable coins. But thank you for that comment, Ferris. That's going to wrap it up for the comment section. Let's get back to the video. Let's take a look at some Bitcoin here and see what it's doing. Bitcoin is currently trading at 48,000. Uh, we did see this dramatic sell off here on Friday. And uh, today is Sunday, December 5th. And uh, we're now stabilizing around 40,000. It looks like it hit a low of what is this price down here? Uh, somewhere around 46,000, 45,000. It says here around 47,000 and um, now it's trading at 48 so it does look like we hit a bottom in the short term and it's stabilizing somewhere near uh 50 000. it's at 48 640 so uh that's kind of what happened there goes the panic and um now things are stabilizing but we don't know if we are gonna go one leg lower uh this could just be the beginning we don't know this could be a buy the dip or just simply dollar cost average bitcoin is holding here as of now we'll see what it does uh, by tomorrow, but it's holding at 48,000. Let's go to my positions and take a look at my portfolio with these uh, Dow projects and forks. So I'm still positive over on my portfolio, but I'm taking a significant hit. Uh, my time wonderland position is still profitable uh, since I had locked in some uh, profits before and I'm up 81% from my original investment, even though I took the risk off. Metaverse Pro here is still holding nicely at 425. It was retaining around 500 and now it's down to 425, still at a great price point. And I'm up significantly there, 143% still. I'm up 1,439. Now my next position here, Rome, I took one in the chin. This was a horrible uh, swing here. I'm down significantly here. I'm down 53%, biggest loser as far as percentage. I'm down $377 and um, it's been a complete bloodbath and there's been nothing positive about this project as far as the price goes as of now. Now, I got into this position because of their RPG game that should be releasing soon. So uh, I hope they deliver a platform and a, a war map that they um, are promising by the end of the year, uh, which is in a few weeks or early next month. So we'll see how that plays out. And if they do roll out a nice uh, RPG a game and they deliver, then um, it's going to definitely see a nice rally. Um, even though I'm taking one in the chin here, I'm optimistic about the game and I hope uh, we see some progress there. So that's Rome not doing so hot there. Let's go to the next one. Uh, climb a Dow here. My original investment, $1,100. It's a, also another loser for me. And um, it's down 652. I started buying this around 2000 and I'm down 41%. That's minus $452. Uh, we have Joe. This is one I started staking uh, from Trader Joe XYZ. And I'm staking for X Joe and I'm doing that infinity loop where I stake my coins, I then farm them, and then I buy more of the original coins with the farm. Uh, pretty cool infinity loop there that I'm doing. I actually bought $300 more. Uh, I bought the dip somewhere around $2.30. It's currently at $2.23. And now I'm invested $1,231 on Joe there. And the market value of my position is $821. I'm down significantly here as well. I'm down another $400 minus 33%. So this is one that I can see myself adding into over time. Regardless, this is not a Dow project or form. This is just an exchange. So this one, I feel more comfortable adding into over time, not limiting my investment cap of around $1,000 on this one. This one, I could probably continue to dollar cost average and buy into $300, $200 over time as it goes lower and my available money. And lastly, we have Olympus Dow. Olympus Dow has been a complete loser for me. I bought uh, pretty high and not only that, a thousand dollar investment um, minus like $300 in fees was horrible for me. So um, I'm down about $600 there. Um, I actually invested around a thousand dollars, but I added 1200 here because I, I bought it cost me a lot of money to get into, so it was actually like a $1,200 investment. Um, market price of uh, Olympus Dow is 600. I bought it over a thousand, 
but I have accumulated uh, one coin with the APY. I didn't have, I don't think I had at least one coin when I bought into it. So that's a good thing. And um, the market value is 677. Um, down, this is the worst loser here, down uh, as far as dollar amount, minus 522. So what does my portfolio look like uh, with this downturn? I'm still slightly up. Uh, yeah, thankfully for the APY. My cash invested now is uh, 4,241. Cash on hand, um, I probably have somewhere like $200, so I'm gonna update this. Uh, my portfolio value, excluding the cash on hand, is around 4,733. And the total gain there is 11% for my investment. That's a total gain of 492. So I was up over 30%, now I'm down to just being up over 11%. So even though we're getting hit hard here, across some names and I've taken some pretty big losers there. That APY is combating and mitigating those losses. Overall, very pleased. We'll see how this does over time. Once the price is stabilized and rise back up or I continuously earn that nice APY, we're gonna see these numbers exponentially rise as well. So overall thoughts on this crypto winter, what is happening? Is it the crypto winter? Is this it? I don't know if this is it. This could be just a temporary pullback and then we bounce back up next week or uh, we can go lower economic conditions are horrible and the stock market is pulling back so uh, i'm not very optimistic in the short term but you never know uh, one thing that i am happy is that i'm very pleased with these investments you continuously earn apy and that is like in my opinion like earning dividends in dividend stocks in the new age of digital currencies. This is like dividend stocks on steroids, a better mechanism, earning you a lot more money in the long run. So uh, we'll see which ones survive and which ones pay out. Uh, and furthermore, I am very excited about a new project I have not talked about. I still haven't bought it. And um, I have two new projects that I'm pretty thrilled about that I'm going to talk about this week. Um, everything's fairly low. so. Uh, don't FOMO guys, uh, no one's going to miss out right now. They're both uh, trading at a good price right now. And um, I need to scratch the surface here because I need to find some more money. Uh, this list is going to get bigger. I'm going to probably add two more positions next week. I don't like that. I don't like having a lot of positions. I want to be part of those projects. So make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned to to hear about those new projects that I'll be going over, reviewing and investing on this upcoming week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. That's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this or found this of any value, join my Patreon to support this free content and join my free Discord if you want a copy of my calculator. My calculator is free. All right, guys, that's going to do it and I'll catch you on the next one.